What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be walking a client, a top producing real estate agent in the state of Ohio, um, killing it with Howard Hanna Realty, um, just really farming a local area, right? Getting her brand out, um, bringing, brand, bring, bringing brand awareness, bringing education, bringing content, bringing value to, to, to a local audience, right? Talking about the process of what it takes to, to become a homeowner, for example. She's a top producing real estate agent, right? So she's educating people in her local area um, on what, what it takes to, to, to purchase, what it takes to sell, right? And, and, and what I'm doing with her is really just coaching her on basic marketing strategies, social media marketing, just outbound marketing methods to generate a lead right to generate a lead but but also to get your brand to get your brand noticed to really go out there and build a local brand like right so 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 for those of you that are really the face of the brand for, for those of you that are that are building either personal brands or even just your solopreneurs your local real estate agent your local um insurance agent your local plumber your local landscaper your local automotive you know mechanic you're a local dry cleaner you're a local restaurant you're a local freaking coffee shop, right? You can literally apply this to anything. So what I'm going to be going over today with two, shout out to two, two, a top producing real estate agent again um, with Howard Hanna is just really getting started. She's already been putting out content, video content on social media. So she's already been out there trying to build her brand organically. But 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 my whole professional, you know, just experience based on speaking to thousands of people, but just based on common sense. It's like if I was a local business owner and I was over here on social media and I got 13,000 people following me on Instagram, I got 300,000 people following me on TikTok, I got 5,000 friends on Facebook, I got a few thousand likes on my business page. If I'm a local business owner, how many of these people are actually resonating with my messaging? Right. So as I put out content related to our, our business, right, as I'm a real estate agent, for example, as I'm posting on my personal Facebook page, I'm posting a listing of my property for sale. I have thirty seven hundred friends on my personal Facebook page. Right. I got thirty seven hundred friends on my purse. And this is just hypothetical. I'm just giving you an example here. But this is reality. This is all you. This is all you guys. This is all your profiles. This is all your accounts. Do the do. Look at the basic numbers. This is basic. That's why I get fired up on this stuff because this is basic. If you're a local business owner and 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 again, you got thirty seven hundred friends on your personal Facebook page. You got thirty seven. Shit, I'll even give it to you. You got thirty seven thousand followers on Instagram. Because you have that same mobile build your marketing brand type of mentality, you're out there also doing TikTok. So you got 37, let's say, let's, let's say shit. Let's say, let's say you got, let, let's say you got 370,000 people on TikTok following you, right? Now that's, that's some of that. I don't know if that's any of you guys watching this video, but, but that's possible, right? Totally possible. People are doing it every damn day, right? 300,000 plus people following them all, all of a sudden on TikTok, but again, I'm a local business owner. I own the local deli, right? I own the local coffee shop. I own the local taco shop. I own the local freaking, I'm a local realtor, right? So it's like, dude, that's why you guys, all the social media marketing that people are, 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 are doing, social media marketing that people are doing, right? They think they're really doing it, right? But at the end of the day, is it generating business? Is it generating leads? Is it, is it getting the attention of my local audience, right? Again, today's freaking whole magic word is is local 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 targeting local we are a local business owner I, I i'd love to get the 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 attention um and and earn the business of my local community how do i target them because god knows the 3700 people that follow me on all these damn accounts no one lives in the area right and that's the thing that's my point so as you scale up your linkedin connections as you scale up your tiktok followers as you scale up your instagram followers as you get all these random people to request you on on facebook as friends as you invite these people to like your business page because you're they're your facebook friends you get them to like your business page at the end of the day dude none of these people live in our area that, that's just the bottom line. So as you look at your personal accounts, look at your Instagram, look at your look at your Facebook personal page, not your business page. Look at your Facebook personal profile. You're a local business owner. How many of these people on our friends list live in the area? And, and, and keep it real. Of course, your aunt, your uncle, who's your Facebook friend, your freaking cousins, right? Your your in-laws, right? Your, 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 your freaking girlfriend from school, from high school, right? Homies used to kick it with in college, right? But after that, that's like what, 200 people? 
when you look at your personal Facebook page, right? You look at your personal Facebook profile. It's about 200 people. When you look at all of them, you look at all 3,700, you look at all 4,900, you look at all of your 2,200 friends on your personal Facebook page, 99% of them don't even live in the area, right? So, 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 so again, shout out to two, two gets it. My client two, top producing agent, she gets it. She's like, David, I'm already putting out this content. I'm already talking real estate. I'm already doing videos on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook. I'm doing my weekly Tuesday event video that, that, that I'd be posting as a weekly update to my to my local community. She's like, David, I'm already putting out this content. I'm like, two, the only thing you're not doing is targeting. The only thing you're not doing is putting a few bucks, literally a few bucks behind that post and actually running running it through your Facebook ads manager, actually setting up your business manager. Go And, and if you haven't caught any of those videos, links are in the description. Go and set up your Facebook business manager. Um, I also have a free cheat sheet that goes over custom audiences, basic information that you need to know to set up a successful Facebook ad account and Instagram ad account. And the reason why we're, we're, we're focused on these two platforms is because, again, if you're a local business owner, I could target. I could take Facebook. And, and especially if I'm serving people in that demographics, right? You got to know your business. You got to know who you're targeting. You got to know your avatar. The local business owner, chances are, depending on what you guys are selling, right? But but the majority of people that are that are probably getting this message, if you're a local business owner, Who's your demographics? Are you serving people? Are, are, are you just, you have, I don't know. Do you have a candy store? You ain't serving kids, are you? You got a candy store, right? Probably not, right? Those of you that are following me right now are, probably have legitimate solo businesses. Either you're, you're a real estate agent, you're an insurance agent, you're a you're a local solopreneur. Um, I would assume, right? Most of you guys that are watching this, you guys are either real estate agents and, and really maybe maybe managing a few people, but but that's about it, right? It's the targeting. We got to be able to pull out our phone and start speaking to our local audience. I got to be able to target that ad. So two was like, David, I got all this video content that I've been putting out all over social media, but 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 the audience is not 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 my not my ideal audience. I said two. Let me coach you. Let me teach you. Let's run some ads. Let's target your area and let's get the damn thing started. Let's start exposing. Let's start branding. Let's start getting our local community to know who the hell we are. Let, let's let them know who, who who the best real estate company in the town to work with is, who's the best broker to work with is, right? That's what we're going to do today. So two, she simply pulled out her phone now. Now she, she I think she might have like a little fancy camera or whatever, but but it's, it, it, no, you guys don't need none of that. Your freaking iPhone, your iPhone, your iPhone, wherever the hell, my, 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 our iPhone's all we freaking need. Here, I'm on a simple webcam that I got from Amazon, and the quality of this ain't even that bad. It's even picking up my lint, right? So, 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 um, you don't need anything fancy, man. You don't need anything fancy. So we'll see what she has. But but the whole point of today's video is that I'm going to help her. I'm going to walk her through. She's actually getting logging on right now. I'm going to walk her through the setup of a, of a, of a local Facebook ad. Okay, this is what we call brand awareness. This is where she literally pulled out her phone, or maybe on her fancy camera. But but again, she's a real estate agent, so it's not she's not she's not a camera person, right? So, she, but but I think she has a, a decent camera. She pulled out her camera, right, and literally introduced herself. This is ad number one. Ad number one is the like ad. I I always recommend go out there and get thousands of likes on your Facebook business page first, and then let's go into local targeting. So really, this is ad number two. Ad number one that I that I walked her through was the like ad. How many likes do you have in your, on your Facebook business page? 200, 300? Take it to 3,300, right? You got to do that. You got to do that fast with a Facebook, a Facebook ad. So we did that, right? Now, we're, now today we're meeting up again, and I'm going to help her run a local ad. So this is our first local ad to get the brand aware, to get the brand awareness going. Now, the strategy behind this is we're literally going to run it to her local area, get thousands of people to see her video and i'm going to see this video for the first time right now so we're going to watch it together for the first time it's her introducing herself her background her experience why she's so fired up about real estate why she loves helping people in the local area buy and sell real estate it's a simple video maybe a minute long two minute long i'll look at it right now with you guys but but that's all it is right we take that we target her local area get thousands and thousands of people to view it under brand awareness the facebook ad objective brand awareness we then take that data. We, we get thousands of people to view it. We then take a percentage of the people who watched a percentage of the video. So for example, for example, let's say 10,000 people viewed the video, but only 6,000 watched 30 seconds of the one minute video. I want the, I want that group, right? That's what we call, a, that's what Facebook calls a custom audience. We're able to take that group of people who watched 30 seconds 
6,000 people. We're able to take those people that watched that one minute video for 30 seconds, at least 30 seconds. These people watched it for at least 30 seconds. They live in my local area. We're then able to go into Facebook and set up what Facebook calls a custom audience. Those videos are also linked in the description. A custom audience. We take that custom audience and we say, hey, Facebook, we ran this ad. We got these people to watch our video for 30 seconds. Now what I want you to do, Facebook, is go and find me literally hundreds of thousands of more people that resemble them that resemble the 6,000 people who watched 30 seconds of my one minute video. Go and find me a lookalike audience. Go and duplicate this audience, Facebook. Use your magical algorithmical potion lotion that you guys do and go and find me this type of person. Again, based on my data, right? So so, so this stuff, you guys, gets, gets ninja. So if you're new to the channel, man, if Facebook ads, if you're a local business owner, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, landing pages, basic sales funnels to capture, lead, and build your business on social media is what you need to be learning. Not social media freaking marketing, not shaking your ass all over TikTok and, and, and just building a, a, a following of people that live around the world. Now, again, if, if, if you're not local, today's local, right? If you're not local and you're building that global brand, that organic brand, well, then shit, shake your ass. That's what it's going to take. That's what it's going to take. And you'll be very, very successful at it. If you're serving the masses, if you're if you're servicing nationwide or, or or international and global, right? So that that's my biggest advice. If you're local, if you're local, this video is for you. If you're local, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications. Drop me a comment below. My name is David. I've been dropping this content with clients, um, literally walking them through Facebook ads, walking them through the setup of landing pages, walking them through what it takes to capture lead on social media, taking them through coaching calls day by day. Been doing this since 2016. So if you, if you want to pick up some golden nuggets that I that I tend to drop every now and again on these videos. Subscribe, stay in touch, and drop me a comment. Let me know you're you're out there, and let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. So let me let me get two on the line, and let's go through this Facebook ad. So now diving into the dashboard, and now going to run this local video ad. Right, that yeah. this is our first local ad together. Right, this yes. is where we're now really going to make our our dent in our local area. That's okay. number, that's ad number one to our local area, but technically it's ad number two. This was ad number yes. one. Right. This was ad number one It's just simply running a like ad, getting a couple yeah. thousand likes. Mm -hmm. we, spent, what, we spent 50 bucks, got got yep. each, each page like at 0.02. So, so two 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 cents per like. Is yes. that good? That's freaking great. Like that's, that's good. Great. Okay. I've been running this ad for agents since tw since 2017. And mm -hmm. I would always get point point oh one. But every now and then I'd get point oh two. And that's and that's still good. That's still good. Um um, but now today, now today you'll be lucky if you get 0.02. So you got a good number. You got a good, a good roll of the dice. Okay. Like you okay. got 0.02 because where I'm at, I run this, I still run this ad a lot for agents. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm at a, a lot of times I'm at, I'm at 0.03. Um, okay. so if anything, I'm just spending a little bit more, but we're still achieving the same goal. It, yeah. It, yeah. All you need okay. is a couple thousand. You don't need 27,000 page likes. You just need a couple thousand. And, and we, right, right. We're yep. Good. We're good. We'll never run that ad again. Um, now, now it's time to go local, right? So, yep. so. Let's let's go to your Facebook business page real quick and let me um let's look at this this video. So how long is it? What were you talking about? It's two about? minutes long. Awesome, awesome, really cool. Two really minutes. Cool. Um, if anything, maybe pin, it, pin it to the top. Let's huh? um, let's pin it that way. It, it's the oh, pin. how do I do that? Just scroll up, click on the three dots, and click on um pin. That's and that's that's a cool post to put at the top of your Facebook business page, right? For, yeah. For this point on, from this point there on, you go. just refresh the page. Oh. So from this point <laughs> you, on, you have to walk me through all this shit. Like where to go? <laughs> so you just refresh it. <laughs> yeah. So, so scroll down. So, so the text here's, so here's the, the basic formula, the basic formula for a Facebook ad and even an Instagram ad, same, same thing is to post it on the business page first, right? Post it on the business yep. page first, write out the text, which is what we call ad copy. Right. So what did you write at the top? Happy Tuesday. This th this is a, this is a different video than what I normally post. Right. So yep. this text, this text, you always want to make sure the ad copy, you always want to make sure that it's complete. There's no errors. There's no there's no dots or any commas missing. We want to make sure that, that that's 100 percent ready to go right. Oh, here. my gosh. So now you're making me second. Like, let me see if there's any grammatical errors. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because when we go in and run the ad right now, we can no longer change it. So we have to just make sure that the, the it's, it, it's, I mean, everything is spelled correctly. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Right. It's good. It's really good. So happy, happy Tuesday. This is a different video than what I normally post. I wanted to take the time to introduce myself and tell you why 
I became a realtor. Here is my story. And and here, yeah. okay, cool. So so that's why I always like to look at this first before we go run the ad. Sure, yeah, you you let change. me know. Because we're not going to be able to change this once we do, right? So nope. so here's, what I, here's the only thing I'd, I'd recommend is calling out the audience, calling out the audience. Now, you may not be putting that in, in any of your other posts, but now okay. the ads, it's calling out the audience. Okay. Tuesday, this is to your local realtor here in the blank area. Oh, so I want to let people know that I'm local. If I just saw that post in my newsfeed, I would not know where the hell you're from. But but I do see Ohio. I do see Ohio in the name, in the name of the page, right? I do see Ohio there. But yeah. but but from a consumer's perspective, my eye didn't even go there. My eye just went straight to the text. Got it. Okay. You this I mean? so, is to your local your local your local Columbus realtor. Or whatever, like something, something along. Yeah. So the framework of ad copy. Now, this is this is our first intro video. This is what we call an intro. This is what I call an intro video, right? This is what I recommend any local business owner do. Pull out your phone, pull out your camera, go on a rant, your experience, your background, why you're so fired up to help people, right? And and run this as a brand awareness. That's what we're gonna do today. Is is run it as a brand awareness. So there's really no call to action in this mm -hmm. text or even in the video, but typically. The, the framework when it comes to ad copy is really is really simple. Bullet point number one, I'm calling out that audience, right? I'm letting them know that, hey, I'm local. This is, this yeah. is I'm in this area. Because right. it, psychologically, when someone sees that word Columbus, it automatically grabs, grabs their attention. And even if you can go deeper, even if you can go more niche, like what's the actual community that you live on, live in in Columbus? Oh, I didn't go that far. I just kind of went if, if, and, and I did a video about this uh, um, on my YouTube channel, like a, like a, I think like a few, like like probably like a couple weeks ago. But I'm talking about I'm 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 walking a client through this ad copy part, and 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 I'm talking about how if I was a local business owner, I could run, I could write out the text, and I could put I could put attention San Diego, blah blah blah. Yeah, but San Diego is so damn big. Yeah, where yeah. I live in San Diego is a city called Chula Vista. Yes. So now if I write out the word Chula Vista, mm. then it's speaking even more to that audience. The moment gotcha. that feed, they're like, holy shit, I live in Chula Vista. But, but I even took it further. But if I even niched it even further and I only spoke to people who lived in my community in Chula Vista, which happens mm -hmm. to be a community by the name of Eastlake. Right. If I now niched it down even further to East Lake, which in East Lake there's probably about maybe maybe a hundred thousand people. There's there's about there's about three million in San Diego. In East Lake, there's about maybe a hundred thousand people. Yeah. So if if if, if I'm now and that's all I need, that's what I'm saying too. You're in the high ticket business. Oh so like where it's like I don't need to target all of Columbus, really. If now now when it comes to Facebook ads and targeting, you do have to target a 15 mile radius because you're, mm -hmm. you're in the housing category. Right. Um, and that's fine. And that's fine. But again, what 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 I'm saying is that if I if I niched it in even further and put East Lake, attention East Lake residents, this is David, your local realtor, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. and, if, and and so when people see the word East Lake, they're like, holy shit, this guy's my neighbor. Mm -hmm. Right? So, right. so, so, so the, the copy, the framework is calling out the local audience, literally the local, not the umbrella city, which is probably Columbus. It's Columbus, it's right. Which it in even further. Who the hell are my neighbors? What community, what's the name of my community? Like, like maybe I just focus in on that area unless, unless not, right. Unless not, unless your strategy is to maybe just take over the whole damn city. Okay, cool. Whatever. Yeah. Cause I don't want to. I, yeah, I don't fine. want to focus on just one area okay, because cool. I want to be make sure. Yeah, just yeah. Okay, good, good. So then, so then Columbus, we're rocking with Columbus. So that's yep. number one in, in a framework. Number okay. two is telling the story. Now you're now you're telling the story in a video. In any video, you'd be telling a story, giving a tip, telling right. a story based on experience. Hey guys, this is two. In today's video, I'm gonna be right. You know, you know, you know how to do this. So number two is telling that story or giving that tip, right? Number two, and then number three is the call to action. Yeah. Hey guys, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my page where you can get all the details on this beautiful listing. Right. Click the button below. It'll take you straight to my page where, you, where you'll get all the details regarding this open house coming up Saturday and Sunday from 1 to 4. Mm -hmm. Click on the link below to download my free buyer's guide. In this buyer's guide, I give you the top 10 ways to make sure you're approved, blah, blah, blah. 
So, so, so that's the framework. Number one, call to the audience. Number two, yeah. telling a story. And number three, the call to action. And so everybody already has that. You already have that. You have many videos on your business page. You somewhat have that. But what I know you have and what I know every realtor has, and I know what majority of, of, of local business owners have, is their call to action is to call me. Yep. That's what, that's what I said. Give me a call. You're Give right. Me a call or text. Here's my phone right. number. Right. It's like shit, dude. 99% of the people look, looking at that at, at that damn post. And they're not, right. They don't even live in that area. Mm-hmm. Right. But that's your typical call to action is a phone number. So everyone has somewhat this, this, the framework. They're telling a story in their post. Yeah. They, they may not be calling out the exact audience. So they're always missing bullet point number one. And then, yeah, bullet point number three happens to be, yeah, email me, comment below, direct message me. It's like, no, dude, click the link. Click the link. Click the link. That's the call to action from this point on. It's click the link. Click the mm -hmm. link below. It'll take you straight to my web page. And all we're doing is directing people to a landing page. That's it. Yep. A landing yep. page on an open house, a landing page on a list, yep. a landing page on a seller guide, a landing page on a buyer guide, a landing page to get a CMA. You're yeah. taking a landing page. Got right. it. So, so here, our whole objective here is to get thousands of people in this local area to watch a percentage of this video. Yes. That's it. So it's not it's not to capture a lead. It's not to get engagement. It's not right. to get up a bunch of people to comment below. It's not any of that. It's literally to track the data. So Facebook yeah. can go out there and find our warm market. They can go out there gotcha. and who are actually watching our stuff. And and and, th and then we have strategy after that. So this is just step one. This is really step one of of, of three. Uh, three, yeah. on, on this one exact video, on this one exact video, the strategy that we're that we're going to implement regarding this one specific video, we're we're going to get thousands of people to view it. We're going to capture the audience of those who watched a percentage of it. Yeah. And then we're going to hand it over to Facebook and say, hey, these amount of people, these thousands of people watched 30 seconds of my two minute video. Mm -hmm. Go and find me a few hundred thousand people, a few hundred thousand more who look just like them. Gotcha. Okay. That's that's that's, that's step three. That's a lookalike audience. That's where we're headed wow. with this. And okay. then what we do from ad number three and on, because this is ad number two. What we yep. do for, for ad number three and on, we retarget everyone that Facebook starts to find us based on, okay. our, data, based on our data, based on the people that watch this video. Gotcha. Okay. Right? So you may not get me on that one. That might've been a little over your head, but. No, that, that makes sense. Their strategy is just piggybacking off the data. Yep. And yep. These, I understand. These people, right. It's just, yeah. So, so, so we're, 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 we're getting there. We're getting there. So, so anything else in, in the text? This is a different video. Okay, uh, realtor. How about the word? word what? Why are, why are the the underlines? So hover over the blue. Um, is there oh, a, because it's um, it's oh, because it's capitalized. It's actually supposed to be capitalized, right? It's, it is supposed to be. It's well, yeah. It's supposed to be capitalized yeah, and. Yeah. So you could yeah go ahead and capitalize it. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Perfect. See, so that's good text for this intro video. So we're good. We're good. Okay. Um, and then if anything, maybe. Yeah, hit save. Hit save. We're good. So it's post on the business page. No more grammar errors. Nothing needed to be added there. We're good. Now let's go straight to the ads manager. So the tab that's open at the top, click on the ads manager. And then from here, let's and let's always shade the, the blue to gray. Once that ad is off, just shade it to gray. And you have to shade it on all three tabs. Right now, oh, you're this on here? click on the middle on the first tab campaigns. Oh, gotcha. You're, yeah, yeah you're, you're in the middle tab. So you have to shade it off on each tab. And I, I start with the first oh. campaign. So yeah, shade that to gray. Click on the middle tab, shade that to gray, and then do the same thing. Oh, so let's do every single one. Yeah, yeah, just shade it to... Now it's off. There's no money being spent. It's off. We set the calendar. It's off. Mm -hmm. 50 bucks, that was all. It's off. But just for eye coordination, just just to, just to for the human eye, yeah. When it's gray. It's it's you know it's off because all we want to see yeah. is blue. Blue blue's on. Blue blue means on. Blue means money. Blue means you know we're running running ads. Okay. So, so yeah, right. just sh shade them off. So uncheck yep. everything. Uncheck the one selected or just uncheck the box. But, yep. But you gotta do it on each. There we go. Perfect. And then just hit the one selected X the blue to the right on the. Yeah yeah. Take that one off too. Click on that. Uncheck that. Perfect. Cool. Okay, we're good. So now create. So all we're gonna do is click the green button. Right. Okay. Perfect. Now, create. Yeah, create. So again, that first like ad, that was engagement. Right. This next ad is going to be our first local ad where yep. we're going to go awareness. We're going to go awareness. Okay, so we're doing awareness. We want Facebook to show this to as many people as possible in this gotcha. local area, in this local right. area. Okay, so okay. it continue. Okay, so, so all I'm taking you through is the three tabs. That's all we're doing is going through the three tabs. Oh, this is the three. Oh, yeah, so we're up here. So, up so here. The three tabs, campaigns. Right here. 
No, oh. not right there, but in the background. Not right there. In the background. The three tabs that we were just on. Those three tabs. Yeah, campaign. Right there we go. Ad sets. Yeah, but I'm just seeing like I'm seeing like how it's yeah, we're, yeah. No, it's not that. It's not that. Oh, but it is. Hey, hey, continue. Hey, continue. So, uh -huh. so right here, we're we're just going through tab one, and and tab one, we chose the objective. We chose the objective, which, which was is which was awareness. Awareness, right? And then over here, we have to choose the category. So hit the category, come down to housing. That's step one. That's okay. One. So when it comes to the three tabs, yes, that, that are on the dashboard. Right, mm -hmm. got campaigns, ad sets, and ads. Those are our three tabs where you check the box, where you click the blue circle, turn gray. Mm -hmm. Those are the three tabs. Those are the three steps we're going through right here. Yes. So, yes. so step one is simply choosing the objective, right? Mm -hmm. And choosing housing. That's right. It. And then okay. give it a title. We want a title. We want to start titling everything. So this is the first tab. Give it a title at the top. So to the right, to the right, the new awareness campaign right here in the box. Get rid of that title at the top. Okay. And then um, no, down, 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 inside the box, down. Oh, okay, got it. So right there, delete that, and we're going to rename it. And so this is, again, this is tab one. This is the campaign tab. This so is the intro, should I call it intro video? Intro video, we're going to we're gonna be descriptive on, on what it what it is. It's an intro video. And then in parentheses, in parentheses, I want you to put the objective. Which objective do we choose? Um, Awareness. Bam, there it is. Right. So intro yeah. video, awareness, that's it. That step okay. one, that's the cat. The, the Ooh, you are so thorough. I like it. Okay. That's it. So hit next. We're good. So, so, so nothing else needed there. Housing, the, okay. titling it. That's it. Next. Now we're on step two, the ad set tab, the middle tab. We're on step yes. two. Here we go with the budget. We go with the targeting. We go with the calendar. We go with the placement of where we want to put that ad. There's many different places okay. on Facebook. There's many different places on, net, on, on Instagram that we could put the ad. We're going to edit. We're going to, we're going to place it ourselves. That's that's everything here. Okay. Step two. okay, so we'll name it at the top. So right at the top, we're going to name it, but we'll name it after we're done. After we know what the hell we do down here, then we'll name it at the top. So let's just. Oh, I see. Okay. Down. Let's just scroll down. So so Facebook yep. page, that's our page. We're good. Daily budget. Yep. This is where. Okay, so now now this is day one of thirty. So this is day one of thirty, right? Day okay. one. And our whole objective too. This is simple, man. This is so freaking simple. I did a video about this yesterday on my personal Facebook page where I'm talking about mm -hmm. how 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 all everyone does is post. So as we try to build a brand, as we try to build a, a local business, we're all local business owners. As we try to build a social media brand, all we're doing mm -hmm. is posting organically all over the place. That's all we're doing. Right. You got an Instagram, you got a TikTok, you got a LinkedIn, you got a you got a freaking mm -hmm. Twitter, you got a Facebook. That's all you're doing is posting organically to thousands of people that don't even live in your area. That's just a fact, right? So, mm -hmm. so, so I'm talking about how all this takes, what I'm teaching, all this takes is literally one video every 15 days on yeah. Facebook, on the business. Yeah, I think you were, I mean, yeah, that's, that's exactly what you said the very first day that we talked. That's it. Right. That's instead of, it. instead of posting every day, right? Instead of posting every day, like, no, no. Day, you don't need to, no. You don't need to, right. I don't post every day, which, yeah. but, but even, even multiple times throughout the week. And, and and on multiple platforms. Mm -hmm. We don't need to be doing that. It's like, dude, we don't need to be doing that. So that's, that, again, yes, again yes. we're just getting started. Right. I could be wrong. Let's say whatever. I could be, we'll find out in the next couple months. Yep. We'll yep. Find out, right? We'll find out if, if it's like, dude, do I target my local area? Do I keep doing what Dave is doing and target my freaking neighbors? Or do I just, <laughs> my brokers right. tell me and let's freaking post on every damn platform five times a day. It's like, mm. no, dude. So, so here, so my point is I say all that to say this, the budget. So we have mm -hmm. to have a budget. So this is day one of 30. Yeah. I'm seeing all this is going to take is one video every 15 days. So we're going to run this for 15 days. Um, um, and, then, and then on the 16th day, that's when our next video comes out. And now that's when we start talking either buyer or seller. Oh, okay. This is where you said you have to focus so, on one or the other. So right? now, now you want to focus on one or the other. I'm either okay. going to start to put out video content speaking to the buyer or- Got it. The seller pick. I want to focus on the seller. So I'm going to have to because figure something out. Okay. That that's simple that, you know, that the, you know, that knowledge, like the back of your hand, mm -hmm. like, like you do, we'll talk about that as we get there. You do, but, but that's gonna be simple, but yeah, that's when you now focus in, you narrow in to one avatar. Now I am only going to be putting out this video every 15 days. And again, if one wanted to continue to organic, okay, whatever mm -hmm. organic post, whatever. Talk yep. about everything that you guys do right now and, and keep doing what you're doing. 
But yep. when it comes to the marketing, when it comes to the actual advertising, ad like a paid right? ad, essentially, paid right? ad. focus yep. on one. Focus on one. We're targeting one person. Gotcha. And, and so, that's the seller. Okay. So are you saying that I that I should post an ad video every 15 days? Is that what you're saying? Yes. yes. Oh, so okay. 15 days. Yep. Next one will be the first one where, where we're actually talking about a seller tip. Hey guys, okay. this is two. In today's video, I'm going to be giving seller you a tip. tip. Okay. So I should do a seller tip next time. All right. Got it. Next time and on. And keep on doing. Yeah. Because I want to focus on sellers. Right. Next okay. Time and on. Yes. But again, when it comes to the ads, just do one every 15 days. Got it. Yep. Like that's it. Like that would be okay. everything. So, yeah, this is great because you know, I you know how like I, I post every every week, right? I do yeah. a, a weekly yeah. Tuesday. So in addition, in addition to that, I'm gonna do these ad videos too to focus on sellers. And these ad videos to sellers, these are the ones that I will be pushing out, right? Yes, too. But I'm telling you, man, the energy that you're putting into your Tuesday videos, uh huh, those should just be all seller ones that we use for ads. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, that could be it too. Yeah, I could change it in direction. But, but, but because, because videos, you're so, giving yeah. all this amazing knowledge on everything. It's a market update. So now we're talking. Everything. I'm giving everything. Yes, I am giving everything. Okay, so, 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 so it's not really tailored towards one specific person. It's just kind of every all real estate related, which is cool. That's a newsletter. That's an update. I get it. Yes. Yeah, so I think that's yeah. important, right? It's very important. But yep. all I'm saying, and, and it's what I've been saying this entire time. Yeah. All I'm saying is that one, uh, well, I won't say 100%, 99, 99, 99%. Mm -hmm. Show me your, show me those videos right now, but don't do it right now. Yeah. But but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 99% of those viewers don't live in the area. So that's the only thing. That's the only thing. So I'm organic. I'm putting it out organically on my Facebook page. 99% of these 300 views don't even live in the area. Because yeah. all we did was shared it all across every platform. Right. And, and and I shared it to my personal page. My girlfriend shared it to her page. <laughs> right. And she has 1,700 friends on her Facebook personal page, and they all live across the country. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's not targeting the local. Yeah. Area. Yeah. That makes sense. Now, okay. Now, now, if you're going to continue it, cool. Let's just make that. What I would do is I, I probably wouldn't even do a weekly one. I'd probably do a monthly one. Where, where now I take that monthly Tuesday video mm -hmm. and I run it as an ad to Columbus. Yeah. So not only are you doing one seller guide video every 15 days, which is mm -hmm. two months, but you're now doing a third one, which is your, your update. And that's which actually my market that, update, right? Your market update, which is actually once a month, not every yep. Tuesday, not every Tuesday. Yeah. It's, it's every once month. A month. It's once a month. And we actually run it as a Facebook ad targeting your local area throughout the month yeah you could literally spend you can literally spend two bucks a day you can spend yeah. three bucks a day you can spend three bucks a day on that market update video i like that target okay. your local area i'll spend 33 dollars a freaking month yeah to target my local area with right. this video yeah rather it's than organically yep. putting it out there for a bunch of randoms to see right right that's true yeah. Now we're just putting a few. So, so I say all that we're still on the damn budget part. Yeah, we are. <laughs> that, to say to say this, where it's like, okay, we're on day one of thirty. What is our monthly budget? Whatever that monthly budget is, divided by two. That's what we're going to run right here. So, so if just say if I want to keep fifty as a monthly budget, that'll be twenty five. Correct. Yeah, twenty five bucks to run to run this for fifteen days ain't nothing. Like, what do you mean? Like, it's good or bad? Bad. Horrible. Oh. So divide divide okay. it. Oh, okay. Divide that. Like, what is that? What? Like, do the math. Like, that's, that's like, that. that's like, I never, like $25 divided by 15 days. That's $1 a day, $2 a day. So, so net, yeah, you couldn't do that. You, you got to, you got to do at least, you got to do at least, at least five bucks a day, at least 10 bucks a day. So, so, so for all, uh, like, let's just say at 10 bucks a day, one's at 300 a month. So how much is that three hundred dollars so a month? If you go five bucks a day, there's there's one fifty a month, right? If you had an ad running at five bucks a day for thirty days, there's one fifty. Okay, I could do the one fifty for sure. The three hundred is kind of getting high. Okay, so then here, so then right here, all you would do is simply again, 
No, actually, I wouldn't go daily. I, actually, you know what? Yeah, don't go daily. Let's just go. Let's just go lifetime. Go lifetime, and then and then what's what's half of of one of one fifty? Forty two, forty forty three. One fifty. Yeah. Is or 75? Not, no, you're you're saying that your total budget for the month is one fifty. Yes. Okay, so one fifty divided by two is seventy five. Yeah, seventy five, seventy five. Yeah. So put it. So put in seventy five lifetime. And what's let's, lifetime again? 75 so it's 75 dollars every two weeks which is super super low too but we got to start somewhere yeah right we got to start somewhere and this is actually not not bad to tell you the truth this is actually not bad this is not bad let me take that back this is actually not bad for this first video for brand awareness for brand okay. awareness this is not bad for brand awareness as we start to go run lead ads that's when you're going to need to spend a little bit more that's when you're going to need to spend at least that, that. So again, this is 15 days lifetime. Mm -hmm. That would need to be at least 150. When oh. we start going, that's why if, if we need to wait, we'll run this first. Let's run this first and, and let's just maybe wait till we close our next deal. If we got to do that, then no big deal, whatever. Okay. We'll set okay. aside a little bit and we'll, we'll start running ads with that, but set aside a little bit too. Like that's what I'm saying. Like most they'll close deals and they freaking go blow the whole damn thing. Or they got bills that have been backed up and they got to go pay everything off. Right. So mm -hmm. I totally, totally mm -hmm. get it. I totally mm -hmm. get it. But at the same time, we're freaking building a business. So we yeah. need marketing. We need marketing dollars. And that's what yeah, I mean. I, I have it. It's just like, you know, I get it. I get it. I get I'm it. I'm also scared to like, not, don't want to deplete it. You know what I mean? Well, again, I get it. I get it. But now, now again, we're just taking the post. Again, one can just take the post that you have and just leave it on the Facebook page. Take the post, share it to your personal page. Take that same video, put it on your Instagram. It is on Instagram right now. Exactly, which ain't doing nothing for you. No. Right? It's not. Zero, zero, zero. That's my point. That's option one, and then this is just option two. Do I just want to put a little bit of money in it to Oh, show I see. Oh, okay. In my local area. So, right? So it's like, what are your options? You don't have many options. That's my point. Gotcha. Okay. So my question about Instagram is this. Mm -hmm. What what does Instagram have have anything to do with what we're doing? Nothing? No, it has everything to do. You can run an ad on Instagram. So just like you, you see ads on Instagram. Yeah, I do. So that's another level of No, it's, it's 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 done it's done here, but yeah, those are ads. Yeah, for sure. Like Again, just think of a monthly budget, whatever it may be. If it's it, it'll, it'll eventually have to be higher than than this. It'll eventually have to, as okay. you start to go for leads. So again, not on this one. This one's fine. This budget is fine. This for, is fine for now. Okay. For brand awareness, but as you start to go for leads, which is the next ad. Yep, we'll have to. Ad, up, you're, now, yep. you're now talking about seller tips. We'll have to up and, it. And okay. Now you're now your now your call to action is to get them to click. To gotcha. The seller guide. Okay, got it. So when I when I start getting to that point, um, how do I get more likes on, 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 um, Instagram then? You got to start running ads as we start to run ads. But again, it's not about the likes. It's not about the followers. It's not about any of that. It's oh, the, oh, oh, okay. Got, gotcha. It's okay. Like it's about the, gotta... You're going to get a ton of followers on Instagram and none of them live in the area too. Got it. Okay. Until okay. You start so... running ads until you start running ads and getting a few of those people to like your, to follow your Instagram. But at the same time, it's not even about that. It's We're about, not that. Okay. It's about the Perfect. video. It, no, it's about you doing that video and having the right call to action, having right. a different call to action than all of your hundred videos that you already did that uh -huh. have no call to action. Right. All I'm doing here is showing you, okay, this is the new call to action. Now we need to get them to click and go and download something. Gotcha. That's okay. The, that's the lead exchange. Got it. Okay. That's, that's how we capture a lead. And- yeah. And if I need to put this message in front of my local audience, then yeah, I got to spend a little bit. Okay. And even at five bucks a day, which is considered a low budget, that's still a budget, right? Five bucks mm -hmm. a day. That's still mm -hmm. 150 a month, which a lot of people don't even have that. Right. Right. So again, it's either we do have that eventually or just keep doing what you're doing. Well. We'll, and don't even run these ads. You know we'll what I mean? Do, no, we'll, we'll do this. I mean, that's the whole point of why I'm talking of to course. you. So, of yeah. course, I'm just speaking in general, like not just you. Oh, okay. In general. <laughs> it's like really whatever our options. If I'm trying to build a local business, yeah, I really want to continue to post on all these platforms when none of it is really generating me anything. Mm -hmm. Or right. do I have a better chance of actually just putting the same video in front of a, in front of my actual audience? Yeah. And, and, and would I spend 10 bucks to make that happen? Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We would do that daily if that was the case. You know what I mean? So, so, 
So, so let's set the calendar. So let's set the calendar. Today is what's today? Today's date is the the seventh. So we write the, Let's go the next day. Let's go September eighth. We'll go September eighth at um, and we'll change out. We'll go we'll go six a.m. and then we'll just push it out to um to two weeks. Yeah, six a.m. six a.m. And now here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this. This is brand awareness. So we're gonna leave. Take away the United States. Let's X out the United States. Hover over you. Oh. And just hit edit and then and then X out of the United States. So to the right, X it out and just type in your area. Good there. We're good there. That's our stomping ground. We're going to continue to penetrate that local area from this point on, okay? Mm -hmm. Is that area. So scroll down. So we're good there. Gender, detail, targeting. We don't need anything. We're going to leave this one on advantage plus placement, which we're going to allow Facebook to place it everywhere. And that's okay. Um, and then click on next. We're good. So that's step two. That's step two. That is it. Click on the blue next and let's go to the final step. So over here, all we're going to do is make sure that that's our Facebook page. Make sure that that's our Instagram account. We're good mm -hmm. at the top, the title, just put intro video. So uh, just rename it intro video. We're good. And now we're going to just simply scroll down and right where you see ad setup, click on create ad, the drop down, and we're going to use existing post, right? So we post on the business page first, mm -hmm. and then we come over here and use existing post. Click on select post. Select post. And then you'll see it right there. Click on yeah, it. Here. Continue. Okay, cool. And then now, yeah, hit continue. And then scroll down and call and the call to action button, there really doesn't need to be a call to action button at all. Um, scroll down on the left, scroll down. And, and so now we got your video right there. We're good. You could put a call to action button or we can just leave it blank. I would just leave it blank. Brand okay. awareness, I don't need them clicking on anything. And then hit publish. That's it. So now, now we're going to simply click on the green publish button. So step one was posting the video on the business page first, making sure that mm -hmm. the text is written out and, and there's no grammar errors. Step two is to come over here and run the actual ad. Click on the green button. Once it says fully published, mm -hmm. like the bottom, once the bottom right turns green, you're good. Step two is this running the actual set up the setting up the ad and setting it for the next day um, mm -hmm. live at 6 a.m. the next day. And then hit the X in the top left. X out this part. And then step three, the final step is to now come back here and set up the custom audience. We want it, we want Facebook yeah. to track the percentage of people who actually watch the video. Okay. Right. So now again, everything is your folder. Everything is about the bookmark. Yep. So go to your bookmarks and go to audiences. Audiences. So from this point on, we want to custom audiences. We want to stack these audiences. That's what this is all about. When you're online and you're looking at handbags, you're looking mm -hmm. at hair product, you're looking at shoes, shirts, whatever you be buying online, and then you leave that website, and then all of a sudden, an hour later, you see an ad from that company. Right. Okay. That's all this is about. That's all advertising is about is brand mm -hmm. awareness and getting people back in front of, getting the people who are who are engaging with a post or watching a video, getting them getting them to see another ad. Right. Just getting them indoctrinated. That's what it's all about. So here is where you're going to just completely stack a bunch of audiences, primarily around your videos. So click on yeah. the blue button, create audience. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is. So that's um, weird. yeah, let's get rid of that one, actually. Okay. Check the box to the left and just click uh, delete. So now it's a two minute video. So we yep. want, in this audience, we want those who watched it for at least 25%. 25%. Okay. 25%. And then choose videos in the top right. Choose videos. And then just find that video and make sure you're in the right business page to the right, Howard Hanna. So um, to get out of that one, um, we'll find this video. That's it right there. Confirm at the bottom. Confirm. Yep, that's it. And then the, the retention. Yeah, confirm. And then the retention, bring that down to bring that down to 45 days. If if an individual saw this video, 25% of it in the past 45 days, they're in this audience. Okay. So, okay. so go ahead and name it. Name it intro video. Intro video intro video, and then in parentheses, 25%. That's how you do okay. the damn thing too. That's gotcha. how you do the damn thing. Create audience and we're done. Okay. So so let that let that run. It's scheduled for 15 days. Let's chat. Let's, <laughs> chat. Let's chat way before that. If, if you do have the time, go to my account. Yeah. But, yeah. but on this ad, on this, actually let it run. 15 days, schedule our next call whenever you can. Because that's okay. when- we need to talk. We need to talk the video. Ne the next strategy for the next video. Yep. Yep. I would like to do that. So, um, next week sometime. Do it. Let's do it. Okay. You hit my calendar. Yep. All right. Too. And I'll send you this recording here once we're done as well. So, anyway, yeah, I really, yeah, I really appreciate it, David.
Any questions whatsoever on that? No, it's good for now. <laughs> awesome, too. You're the best. You'll see Until how many next time. <laughs> you'll see what pay attention to the view count on that video. Okay. Pay attention to the view count. So how do I years, look at that? Where, where do I look at that? Go to your, go to the video, click on it. You'll start to see the view count. Oh, oh, it's okay. That's at least something cool. Okay. Got it. There right now. Click on Facebook. What's it at right now? Go, go look at it. Uh, community. So 65 yeah. views. Oh yeah. yeah. So 65 views. So 65 views. So we'll see what a 75R budget takes it to. But, oh, okay. I see what you, okay. But, but it's going to definitely take it. You watch just Yeah. So those are, those are basic numbers you could pay attention to right there. Those are basic okay. numbers. But, but you're going to see because you're going to see the difference. So look at all your other ones, right, that were just posted organically. And now we're about to actually run an ad. Starting and tomorrow. Okay. You're going to see the difference. This, these numbers are going to freaking skyrocket. And they're okay. going to skyrocket in my local area. Mm -hmm. that's, the, the, that's the difference. Mm, that's the difference. That's weird. That's okay. The difference. <laughs> that's the difference. So, all right. so keep it up to schedule and let's chat soon. Yep, we will. All right, David. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye.